welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going through the NARS advent calendar for holiday 2020. I'm so so excited to be going through it. We'll go through obviously what's in the box, talk about each product, prices, swatches, all of the good stuff and of course lip try-ons. One thing I wanted to say is it's a lot smaller this year than previous years um, so I'm intrigued to see how they've packaged it up and how it will be presented. I know that in total there are 12 full size lip products. Just to give you a little bit of facts first, it's £175, however, it's worth £268. It's about a saving of £93, and that would be the equivalent of getting four full size lip products for free. So it is quite a good saving, especially if you're into NARS lipsticks or lip products. Plus, you could always keep half of it for yourself and gift half of it so I think it's good value for money. Let's open it up. So this is what it looks like and it's this hexagonal shape. So there's like a metal clasp, you open it up and it reveals what looks like a golden Toblerone. So it looks like that. Which is very interesting packaging and it also looks like an accordion. It is numbered from 1 to 12, so that's obviously the 12 full size lip product. So let's open it up from number one. So it comes in like a black tissue paper. So the first product is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Intriguing. So I used to work for NARS, some of you know that, some of you may not. And whilst I worked for NARS, I really, really love this pencil. So this is a lip pencil that I still recommend to this day. Not only has it got great staying power and lasts a long, long time due to its velvety matte formula, um, it also comes in a wide range of colours and it tends to suit most skin tones. So let's open it up. That's intriguing. It's not a twist up method, you will have to sharpen it. So this is intriguing. It's sort of like a pinky brown. I don't know if that translates on camera. So I've just gotten rid of the gloss that was on my lips. So this is the colour Intriguing On. It's such a wearable day wear colour. Although you could obviously wear it in the evening, you can wear, wear it whenever the hell you want, to be honest. But this is a colour, like I said, that would suit everyone. The product itself is quite firm, so it really helps with application and when you want to define the lips. However, the formula itself is really, really creamy, so you never feel it dragging. It goes on really, really beautifully and then it dries to sort of, like I said, a velvety matte. So that is intriguing. Next up is the Power Matte Lip Pigment in Slow Ride. If it sounds sexual, it's because it's meant to be. Uh, one thing you will know about or notice about NARS products is that a lot of the names are sexual. They're not meant to be offensive. Francois Nars, the founder, just liked to be a little bit pay playful with his names. He liked to be a bit risque, hence why it's no surprise that one of his best-selling products is called Orgasm. So Slow Ride it used to be such a popular colour. I'm sure it's still a bestseller. And I remember when I was working at NARS that it was out of stock for so long but it's that perfect kind of nudie brown. The Velvet Matte Lip Pigment is obviously a liquid lip, wet lip formula, so it goes on very wet, as you can see, and it does dry down pretty quickly, and it ends up drying down to a, a pretty much a full matte. I will have to warn you, if you have dried skin on your lips, it will cling on to them, but it's not a drying, drying formula, if that makes any sense at all. It has great staying power, um, but be warned, you need to exfoliate your lips before applying this. So I've just applied Slow Ride. Now what I love about the wand for the Velvet Matte Lip Pigment is that it's a very hard wand, but it still glides on beautifully. Why I like the hard wand is because it helps you to really define around the lips, so it really eliminates the need for a lip pencil. Trust me, that's a good thing when it comes to anything liquidy, because normally when you apply liquid formulas, you do tend to need a pencil. So this lip applicator is perfect. In terms of scent, both the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and the Power Matte Lip Pigment, they do have a slight scent to it, but it's, it's very subtle and it's nothing overpowering. So when it initially applied, it went on quite wet and the Power Matte Lip Pigment is a perfect name for it because literally a little bit goes a long, long, long way. 
So now, as you may see, it is drying down and it is turning matte. But this is a really, really gorgeous autumnal colour. Again, it would suit a wide range of skin tones. Next up is the sort of classic lipstick in a colour and shade called Lovin' Lips. So when I worked at NARS, this wasn't a shade that existed, so I'm excited to try it. So it is this sort of like mauvey, purpley kind of berry tone. Normally this isn't my go-to shade, so I'll be intrigued to find out how it looks on my lips, but let's dive right in. So this is what Lovin' Lips looks like on me. As predicted, it's not a shade that I'm particularly in love with. It's probably my least favourite thus far. But anyway, you can see what it looks like on me. Just to give you an idea, I'm normally a beige number three shade in, in Bobbi Brown foundations, like the foundation stick. So hopefully that'll be a point of reference for you. I'm not loving my lips, which is so ironic considering the name. So next up is a, another Power Matte Lip Pigment in Vein. I actually already have this, so what I'll do is wrap this back up, put it in one of my future giveaways, and I'll swatch the vein that I already own. So this is the one I already own. So this is Vein, which is this gorgeous deep red, slightly bricky, slightly burnt red, I would say. One thing I'll say, and it's kind of reminded me as I'm swatching on the back of my hand, my hands naturally have quite a few fine lines. What you will find with this Power Matte Lip Pigment formula is that it does bleed into the lines slightly. So if you're that person that, um, I think we all have slight lines, unless you're super, super lucky, uh, slight fine lines around our mouth. So if you do have that problem, I would always apply a lip primer prior to applying. So something like the, I think it's like the MAC primer plus or something like that i will put it on the screen but it's specifically for lips just to make sure that it minimizes bleeding because trust me when it's as bright of a statement lip color like this the bleeding is going to show up even more so this is vain and as you can see it's a gorgeous gorgeous deep color perfect for the autumnal winter festive period this is obviously a statement lip but it's not as shouty as something like a pillar box red because of the deeper undertone to it. So this would suit so many different skin tones. It's honestly such a gorgeous colour. I haven't applied lip liner and I've literally just used the wand, the applicator to apply. So it really, really is easy. But like I said, please be warned about the bleeding. It does tend to happen. So just prep your lips well and you'll be absolutely fine. On to the fifth product. It's another Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in colour Do Me Baby. No need to explain that one. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. So this is colour Do Me Baby and it actually reminds me of Loving Lips but a little bit more deeper in the berry tone. So that's Loving Lips and this is Do Me Baby. Again, it's probably not the kind of tone that I would gravitate towards or colour I'd gravitate towards, but I could see some people liking it. It almost makes me look a little bit grungy, if that makes sense. So that is Do Me Baby. So we're on product number six. So we're halfway there, guys. This is the lipstick in colour to lead. So I've just noticed it does say satin finish and I checked the Lovin' Lips, which was a matte finish. So satin means it should be creamier. This is Tolide. This is a colour that existed when I used to work for NARS. So this is Tolide. It definitely has a more of a creamy finish. You can definitely see that it's got a sheen to it. Again, a very everyday colour. And that's a swatch. Just there. Next up is another Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the colour Cruella. Just there. It's a deep red with a sort of bluey undertone, but it's pretty much a classic red. It's very much what reminds me of old Hollywood glamour. This would be a really, really amazing classic like evening lip. Next up, lip number eight is the lipstick again in Immortal Red, which is a matte finish. Again, this is a new color for me, so wow. Again, it's a very gorgeous deep red color. 
and it almost reminds me of the lipstick version of Vein, which is just there. Obviously, Vein's a lot more deeper and it gets darker as it dries down, whereas Immortal Red reminds me of like the younger sister of Vein. But I love this colour, absolutely love it. We're on to lip product nine, which is the Power Matte Lip Pigment in American Woman. Again, I have this. Um, so again, I'll wrap this up for future giveaway and I will use my own product. So the American Woman I own actually has a um, gold writing and that's because it was part of a limited edition collection. But anyway, it's still the same shade. So American Woman is a very, very popular shade. I found that Arab women really liked it. Um, but again, it's just that nude that tends to suit a lot of people. They can be mixed with other shades to create the colour that you desire. So this is American Woman. I absolutely love it. It is a pinky colour, but definitely with a brownie undertone. It's that kind of nude that tends to suit everyone. We're almost at the end, guys. So this is product number 10, which is another lipstick, and it's called Inappropriate Red. And again, it's a matte finish. There's a lot of reds in this collection, isn't there? So this is what inappropriate red looks like. If I swatch up my hand, you can see it's so far the brightest red out of all the reds in this calendar. So inappropriate red is definitely more of a classic red with that typical kind of bluey pinky undertone. It's not normally the kind of red um, that I gravitate towards in terms of undertone, but I really like it. So that's inappropriate red. It's a kind of red that reminds me of uh, Paris and the kind of colour that I think a lot of Parisians would wear. We're on to our penultimate product which is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dolce Vita. Again I have this in my own collection so I will use my own product and I will wrap this back up for a future giveaway. So this is the one I own, as you can see it's a lot dinkier just simply because I've used it and sharpened it lots. So this is Dolce Vita, it has to be one of my favourite colours, I'll just swatch it for you. So it's this sort of like, it's different tones, it could be seen as peachy, it's got, it's definitely like a terracotta tone, a bricky tone, and again it really obviously will look slightly different depending on your skin tone and your natural lip tone, but again it suits everybody. One thing about this shade is that it was so, so popular amongst Asians, and I mean of my descent. They used to come in and love this product, they would buy loads of it. So it's just that one product that you could easily reach for and know that it would suit a variety of people. So that's Dolce Vita. Last but not least, we're ending on a banger. So this is the Power Matte Lip Pigment in the colour Star Woman. Again, I have this in my own collection. So the one I have is this dinky, sort of luxury travel sized one. Let me swatch it. It's really dark but classic red. Another red, yes. So this is Star Woman. Absolutely love this, such a classic and it's that kind of bold, powerful lipstick. It's also the kind of lipstick that makes your teeth look whiter, which is a bonus. And I've tried to be as neat with it as possible, just to show you, you can get away without a lip liner. Obviously, if you're that perfectionist, go ahead, go in with lip liner, make yourself happy, but this is without. So, my final thoughts. Let's talk about the packaging first. So, as I said earlier, it does look like an accordion. I'm not so keen on it because it's one of those packagings where you can't really use it again. I really, really love the Liberty Advent Calendar because I, I reuse it actually and the drawers are perfect size for Christmas baubles. Honestly, it's the best. This, you can't really do anything with it even if you wanted to because you, you had to rip off the entry bit in order to get in and get the lip product out. So it's one of those products where it's a bit it's unusable, you can't reuse it. I mean, it looks cool when it's closed, but I mean, that's as far as it goes. It would have been really nice if they had found a method to, so that it was reusable, so then you could just sort of have it like this on your like makeup or dressing table. So that's a shame about the packaging. In terms of the colors they've included in the advent calendar, six are red or a variety of red. And I just think that's too many reds for the average woman. For me, I'm a huge red fan, so I don't mind having six different shades of red. In, but you know, six out of 12 being red is just too much. I kind of wish they had switched it up and given us different shades as opposed to six reds. They also had a lot of matte formulas. So again, if matte finishes aren't your jam, this isn't the advent calendar for you. I personally 
like hydrating um, lipsticks but I much prefer matte just because of the longevity I like the fact that you can just put it on it lasts it's less faffy so for me I don't mind the fact that the majority of the lip products are matte one thing to say it's not limited shades so all of these shades are current existing lipsticks now you can see that in a good way and you can see that in a bad way um, I personally think it's a good thing because if you do fall in love with these colours and say you haven't tried NARS products before, imagine getting down to the last bit of your lipstick bullet and it's like your go-to lipstick and then you want to top it up but unfortunately it doesn't exist anymore because it's limited edition. You won't have that problem with this advent calendar because all 12 shades are in their current existing collection for now. That might change up in the future but for now it's all existing shades. Everything you see again is their like regular packaging i just wish that they had put some limited life packaging on it just to change it up make it feel a little bit more special so there's nothing about it that feels festive or christmasy another thing i wanted to say is obviously they've included only these three products so there's four shades of the lipstick four shades of the power matte lip pigments and four shades of the velvet matte lip pencil I kind of wish they had added more products so even if 12 was the maximum they could do for example they could have added lip glosses or the audacious lipstick line which is amazing I really really love it or even matching lip pencils that could have been another nice option so for example if it's lip pencils they could have added four more so have say 16 in total because obviously lip pencils don't take up a lot of space and price wise they're a lot cheaper than these lip products Alternatively, if they were to include a different line like audacious lipsticks or lip glosses, they could have three of these, three of these, three of these, and three of the other lines so that it's still 12, if that makes sense. So you get more of a variety. A lot of his names are a little bit naughty as well. You will have noticed that. These names were actually really, really tame. And I perhaps feel like that was intentional because obviously you don't know who's gifting what. So it could be a grandma gifting it to her, her granddaughter. And obviously if there's lip products like spunk no joke orgasm g-spot whatever is not very family friendly so perhaps the name choices were intentional with the exception of doomy baby one thing that i just wanted to end on today is francois now saying that he wanted the names to be fun he said i wanted things that aren't necessarily always politically correct even though we have to be careful today in life you have to keep a sense of humor as long as it's not offensive to communities and people like I said, this is an excellent advent calendar if you're into lips, if you're into reds. Um, you don't obviously have to keep it for yourself. You can gift half of it to other people. And it's also great if you're a NARS, huge NARS fan like I am. I'm a huge fan of the lip products. I'm not a fan of everything, I'll be honest, but I am a fan of the lip products. Out of the three products, my favorite has to be the Power Matte Lip Pigment. It's just a no brainer for me. It applies so easily. It goes on so smoothly. And once it's dried, it stays on. Um, the applicator in itself makes life so easy, especially because you don't need a lip pencil. Like I said, warning, you have to exfoliate your lips. It may bleed, but as long as you pre prep your lips well, then you're absolutely A-OK. -okay. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the products and going through it with me. Thank you so much for watching. I would love if you could comment down below on what your favorite NARS lip product is and perhaps even what your favorite was from today's collection. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Butterflies in my stomach, butterflies in my chest, heartbeat like a...